Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well, and um, I did say I would um, come out with a G how to overclock your GPU. Um, so here it is. So um, here I have MSI Afterburner up, and this is where I'm going to actually be overclocking the GPU. So I will be showing you um, some benchmarks that I ran, um, and I found that um, there was um, a pretty big difference from no overclock all the way up to overclock. Um, and I used Heaven Benchmark to actually benchmark it. So let's take a look at this. So this is um, the benchmark that was um, ran without the overclock. And as you can see, um, actually I don't really use the minimum FPS because it's kind of like a, an outlier. Um, and so are like 0.1% lows and things like that. But as you can see, the max FPS is 367.9. Many people would be happy with this, um, but like, if you, it's it's kind of like you're leaving free performance on the table if you don't overclock it. So you might as well overclock, get better performance. Um, well, you're really not risking anything because um, MSI Afterburner really doesn't allow you to go past a certain point um, because there are four stri restrictions set up on. Um, buy it, and even if something goes bad, it'll just shut down automatically, you can enter safe mode, um, things like that. So, really you're not risking anything by overclocking, but I can understand why you would be a little nervous about it, because um, some things like, you know, core voltage can get a bit scary, um, but we'll, we'll, let's take a look at um, overclock. Um, let's see if we can uh, change some of those minds out there. Um, you can already see that the score is at uh, 5,392 um, from the 5,152. Um, and the max FPS is bumped up like 15 FPS, probably around 15 FPS, um, which is already a pretty big bump. Um, we might be able to squeeze a little more performance out of that um, if, I, if I do a little more tinkering, but I really didn't um, tinker too much. Um, I just went with a little crude overclock. Uh, so as you can see, most of the numbers will be fine, except the minimum FPS. Just uh, just ignore that because it can be a bit misleading. Um, that's just uh, an outlier, as I said. So um, let's uh, let's take a look at how you can actually overclock. I have um, MSI Afterburner pulled up, um, and this is this is a really great tool just to just to overclock um, like safely. Um, so as you can see, there's five or six main dials here. I can't actually um, move the temp limit or the fan speed, but that's all, that's um, very well because really we don't need to. Um, obviously if we could, that could squeeze a little more performance, but it, the thermals might look a little worse. Um, so let's start with core voltage. So this was originally at 965, I believe, um, and I just dialed it up to 1050. Because uh, I looked it up, and um, the max for this is 1060, so I could actually, I think 1060 actually, um, I could bump this up a little more, but I wanted a little headroom, um, and really I'm happy with 1050. Power limit was at 0%, and I just bumped it up all the way to 20. Um, if, if you don't want it all the way up, you can keep it at 15, um, or actually 18 would, was actually the sweet spot for me. I saw that 15 was like I didn't overclock at all because you need to up your power limit before you can actually make the clock speeds higher. So that brings us straight into the clock speeds. So as you can see here, um, the clock speeds at 1820. This was originally at like 1750. So that's uh, 70 megahertz right there. And um, that's that's a pretty big, pretty big bump. Um, I, I, I like that. Um, I could bump it up a little more, um, but the, the memory clock is, is what I was uh, looking forward to because this was at like way down here at like, what was it, 1400 something, and I could dial it up all the way to 1860, which is, which is pretty psyching. Psyching? Is that even a word? Um, anyway, um, 1860, which is, um, which is pretty good for, uh, I mean, that's like a lot of free performance right there, like 400 megahertz on the table if you don't overclock. 
And fan speed, you can just leave that on auto. It'll take care of it. Um, and obviously you can see that I can't dial it up. Um, I could go here and change it up, but, um, but that just would bring in the, well, it would just bring in like a, it would just bring in like a graph and it would, would show you like, um, how you, how you want to like set it up, add some nodes, things like that. But really this is, this is fine, um, for this. And, um, if you're worrying like, oh, I don't want to have to set this up every time I boot into Windows. Well, there's a startup thing right here. If you click on it, every time you boot into Windows, it'll just have these right off the bat. So as you can see, mine's in red. That means it's on. Um, you can even set profiles and things like that. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, and if you actually want to monitor, um, all your stuff, you can go into the settings, go into monitoring and check your GPU temperature and, um, uh, enable show in on screen display and on an on screen display. Make sure you have a toggle on dis um, display, um, shortcut or hotkey, sorry. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you can, um, overclock your GPU. Pretty cool stuff. Um, pretty nice that you can get, um, really nice performance um, for free without having to upgrade like oh i want a 2070 super but i have a 2060 super right now well you get maybe not the exact same performance but you get like almost on par performance um if you, if you do it just right and remember this does take a bit of tink bit of tinkering if you want to get the best performance out of it uh you can do a crude um overclock and it would get you the it would get you a pretty good overclock um, performance but if you really want the to go that extra mile um or if you're like a, an enthusiast um this this is this is fun stuff so i hope that helped you guys i hope uh i hope it helped you i hope you learned something from it and i will see you guys in the next video hope you all stay care take care stay care bye bye for now <laughs>